Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Cast 5 Reviews. My name is Fives, and I'm joined today by Rohan and Theo. What's going on, y'all? What is going on indeed? Rohan, we've been talking about this movie for a very long time. We did reactions. Theo has talked shit. I have talked shit. I, I think for a minute there, Daniel talked shit, but he doesn't watch anime. So we were like, why are you in part of this conversation? <laughs> and now here you are, man. I have one question for you. Since you're the one that introduced me to this gorgeous in film, was it worth the hype? Yes. Okay. I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. Excellent. Excellent. Thea, what about you? Um, probably not as much as Rohan, but I also definitely enjoyed the movie. 100 <laughs> Okay, okay. This is great. This is, I was going to say 100%, but then Theo just went sideways. So I'm going to re retract that and say, oh, okay. We will, we will discuss. It's going to be a fun conversation. I loved it. So there's, uh, I, I, there's just one thing that I, I really, really hated, but whatever. We'll talk about this later. But before we start on that, I want to talk to all of our new audience members, our new podcast listeners. And I want to thank all the returning viewers and podcast listeners. Thank you for joining us once again. But to the new audio members and audience, well, audio, audio listeners and audience, I kind of merge it all together, right? It never, it hey, never goes bro, straight. One big happy family, bro. Never goes good. straight. I want to let audio you guys know. Ones. Exactly. I want to let you guys know that we are Cast5. We're a group of friends that I would like to review, discuss video games, animes, movies, or any topics that generally matter to us. And hopefully they matter to you as well. Otherwise, all the mistakes I make in these intros will be pointless. So please give them a purpose. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. And that thumbs up button. Because that helps the YouTube algorithm to promote our content. And come on. You want to see Rohan's face more. Right? You want to see Theo's face more. Actually, forget Theo's face. Rohan's face is the real thing we need to discuss here because he is also the face of the thumbnail that has the highest viewed videos of our channel. So hit that subscribe button. Give, give him the thumbs up that he really deserves because I am very proud of him for that. <laughs> A few housekeeping items for you guys. We do have uh, tons of... Um, just video gaming um, playthroughs on twitch.tv forward slash um, cast underscore five, uh, where we are currently going through Elden Ring, Rune One, Farhad's journey, because he is a masochist. It is, this is just his, his journey on level one to go through all of Elden Ring, all the boss fights, Yo. everything. He's and a he, boss man, man. That's, 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 what, that's what he does. Though. He can he's only doing do it the boss way. <laughs> he is doing it. We have one, two, and part three. Part four and five will be uploaded very shortly. We have a Bleach season eight review on. Rohan, did you know about this? Bleach oh, yeah, season eight. Dude. Crazy, right? That we lasted eight <laughs> videos of discussing Bleach. And people keep coming back and wanting to hear our opinions. Because we no, it's even after bound, I was surprised. I was gonna say because we champion the saying "fuck the bounce," right? So, well, well I'm I'm gonna take that all in, but what I'm gonna do actually is uh, binge watch the whole series once it's actually completed. That's, that's what I, that's what oh. I'm gonna be on. That's the tip that I'm gonna be on. All right, yeah, I know. Like, hey, just like you know how we like we we were like waving it. Like uh, when when the anime came out and Bleach came out, and then we had to wait for the next week for the next arc that came out, like the next episode to come out, right? Because yeah. it always ended on like on a cliffhanger. No, yeah. no, no! I'm not gonna be waiting for nothing, man. Just, I'm gonna soak Please, all that up, all that content up. You know yeah, everything. Man, just all at once, man. So pump it out, y'all. I'm waiting, man. I'm waiting to that binge watch that there stuff. There you that go. Stuff, Let's go. Fun fact for that, so on Monday we will have a bub actual bonus episode for Bleach because we are move we're reviewing movies now and the movies will be on a weekly schedule because it's not the entire season to go through so the homework tends to be a little bit smaller. So it will be uh, released tomorrow, Monday, May 2nd probably around 8.30 to 10 Eastern Standard Time so definitely check that out. It will be Bleach Memories of Nobody. The first movie, I saw a trailer the other day, and uh, oof, 
there's a mm -hmm. lot of a lot of stuff that happens later on that is just not there because like you know ichigo oh okay like it's just standard bankai ichigo so this is pretty fun because i do remember enjoying that movie a lot uh it's not on funimation or crunchyroll theo so <laughs> it's uh which is weird you're gonna figure out something else out so we gotta <laughs> figure something is. else out so yeah of course it's gonna be apple tv bro it's gonna be uh oh, 4.99 rent beautiful. that beautiful. fee that we have to pay you know so it's good, it's good to go, have our you go. yes exactly but uh, other than that we are also streaming and walker content and demon souls so check us out we have a patreon.com as well Patreon on patreon.com <laughs> forward slash cast underscore five. And if you want to support us, please go ahead. Join the community. With all that put out of the way, let's dive into bubble. And this is the part where in the editing process, I will add the girl going, huh, huh. Huh, huh. <laughs> You're practice in there. You fucking practice. <laughs> so the the thing is, first and foremost, I think we should start off with, for anyone that hasn't seen Bubble, kind of give you guys a little bit of backstory of what Bubble is, who is part of this amazing creative team, and where can you find it? So it is a Netflix movie. It's uh, obviously uh, Japanese animation, and it was released April 28, 2022, just like a couple of days ago on Netflix worldwide. And... The thing is that this is obviously a manga ad adaptation. Sorry, there was a manga ad adaptation of the film that was also released prior to kind of promote a little bit of uh, a publicity towards it. But what really drew us in and Rohan, when you showed it to us, you showed us this because of the beautiful animation. But when me and Theo watched it, we were like, oh my God, these names that are being dropped on. So mid musical scores, composer, arranger of Attack on Titan, Hiroyuki Sawano. That's pretty high. He also did, uh, what was that one? Kill a Kill. He did Kill a Kill. He also did was... Mobile Suit Gundam. Ooh. Seven oh, Deadly Sins. Too. Ooh, damn. The second one, Theo, the artist, Takashi Obata. You know what he's uh, known good for? Old, good old Death Note. Good old Death Note. So Creepy already. Death faces. Yep. Already two. Heavy hitters. Heavy hitters. Heavy hitters. Yeah. Then we will come to this animator storyboard artist. That is Kasura Araki. Theo, what did he do? The storyboard, I think it was uh, Attack on Titan, mm -hmm. was it? Yeah. That's what I guessed. <laughs> Attack on In Titan, Death Note, High School of, of the Dead, Guilty Crown, you name it. Oh, I didn't know some of those ones. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, Jen Rabucci. He had a successful anime of a series, little series called Pueli Magi Madoka Magica. And I know that this is a very close anime to your hearts. So I'll leave it to that. You also did um, the other anime that is very close to your heart, Iron Skates. Yes, and Fate and Zero. Fate Zero. Psych and uh, Psycho Pass as well. It's It's... Dark fantasy, horror, thriller, sci-fi, tragedy. They are typically the genre these people are working on. And then they decided to do a post-apocalyptic animated movie for Netflix. So, Bubble. It was all bright and colorful and everything. Exactly. So, well, I don't even think... Like that, you, you kind of... You really thought... Or at least I really thought the anime was gonna go in um, the direction that those guys would usually take. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't like and that. I at was all. wrong. You were absolutely <laughs> wrong. Absolutely wrong. I think the best best thing I can suggest is I don't think we would do it justice to really sit down and explain what exactly occurs in the story 
I think we should talk about positive, negative, so we like what we disliked. And I know animation music is going to be a few of those things. But I'll give you a quick synopsis. As I said, post-apocalyptics, bubbles are everywhere in the fucking sky. Tokyo is covered in a bubble. So some group of boys have decided that they're going to parkour and fight for resources. Whether it's fuel, whether it's batteries, whether it's the only woman in the entire anime, which was she was also studying the phenomena, so she's a scientist. And uh, there's a guy that wears headphones. He's our main character, Hibuki. And he Hibiki. is... Hibiki, yes, yeah, sorry. And he... This, uh, I think, Rohan, you're, you're muted. Yeah, sorry, the Makoto. Makoto is the scientist that you're referring oh, to. Oh, yes, guys. yes. <laughs> so... Hibiki is the greatest parkour. <laughs> like this person, like parkour. I like what are they? Artists, athletes? What would you call them? I it looks like an artist. I, I think really it's like a it's a sporting event. So I think they're like the athletes, really, okay. right? Because they have teams, right? And they uh, yeah. go these two teams. They're they're usually two it's teams games? that go head. Yeah. yeah, it's like uh, capture the flag. Yeah, and whichever team member first captures the flag wins. in this particular course wins, and they wins the resources, like you said, the fuel mm -hmm. the, and uh, and whatnot, and food. Mm -hmm. So. The yeah. scientist. So, <laughs> so I would say yes, parkour artist like this guy. I'm, I'm sure if Hibiki was like playing Mirror's Edge, Theo, <laughs> I think he would. Oh, he would really, win. He would win. He'll know. <laughs> like he would play it real life. Yes, he's yeah, one hundred percent. And the one thing that that is special about this gentleman is he can bounce off bubbles. He can bounce well, off like, bubbles to go where he slide. wants to. Hmm? Yeah. Successful. So technically, they. All can bounce off bubble because he's the only one that is like he knows the paths and whatever. Too, too, like, exactly. Confidently. Yes, yeah. where they're going to go. And and yeah, he he wears headphones because he cannot stand just the city noise altogether. It bugs him, he has a condition. But that and just standard rambling. Standard rambling, yes. Just like me. Just like why I'm wearing headphones right now. Yes. And that's that's the beauty about him. He can he can really triangulate and pinpoint uh, pinpoint noises out of a full traffic, uh, like the the rush of Tokyo. He can pinpoint and really isolate a single song, a single. It's not even the uh, would it be the verse because this is like what they always <laughs> come back to, like the tune. It's a melody. It's a melody. Yes, he recognizes a particular that, melody. Yes, and that's why the song. No, it's a song? like. Yeah. Like it's in a, a way that was song. like the full song that mm -hmm. yeah. she had. He doesn't find out what the full song is until he comes in contact with a character that gets introduced later on. Yeah. Like actually pretty close to the beginning. Mm -hmm. Right. But uh his thing is that he he wears the headphones because in general, like sound messes him up because he hears so perfectly. Like he, you said, Fires. He is Superman. Yeah, yeah, he super is hearing. Superman. <laughs> he has super hearing. Or was it Daredevil? Yeah, Daredevil as well too. Yeah, yeah definitely has some some of those themes, right? But one theme, like especially like later on in the anime, when you get to the the plot point of the, uh, I think also not just Hibiki, but like the other main character. What was her name? Uta. Uh, Uta. Uta. Yes, a name that uh, Hibiki uh, actually gives her. Mm. Uh, yeah, he gives her um, because she uh, she doesn't talk, <laughs> mm. or she initially doesn't talk, and she has to learn how to actually speak very quickly. Yeah, actually, <laughs> she learns <laughs> very quickly. Like, you know why? Because she's a mermaid. She's magical. All properties and about that's her are magical. Theme. That's it. So she <laughs> is. That's... She she always. Loved Hibiki. Why we don't really find out ever, but he lo she loves Hibiki. She fell in love with him. She saved him. She goes around, and she wants she saved him twice. Actually, it's more than three times. But uh, but yes, they fall in love. Yeah. Hmm? Like he gets introduced to uh, uh, Uta because he hears that particular melody that you're talking about, uh, uh, Fires, and he goes to uh, that tower. 
the Tokyo the, Tower, which is yeah. The, yeah, yeah, the focal point, right? Mm. Because like that's where like the whole magical mm. aura is actually emanated from. And he goes, it's a restricted area, but for him, it's it's easy peasy because he's a parkour master and he could bounce off bubbles so easily to go find this melody. And on his journey to go find this melody, he finds, he bumps into Uta. Uh, Uta and Uta winds up having to have to save him. Yeah. So she had to bump into him. Yeah, but <laughs> none of that. Like that, we're going to granular, like small details about what what's going on in the story. So let's not let's not dive into yeah. that. Just give yeah, us an yeah, okay, in our, that's true, our thing, right? But yeah, it's definitely an overall mm. theme. What you said, like Little Mermaid. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's a Little Mermaid vibe in terms of the overall kind of structure, kind of feel of the story. Yeah, but it's at the same time, it feels very much like on the same lines at Pirates of the Caribbean, where it's like, yo, mermaids, if they're singing, don't go towards them because they're <laughs> going to fuck you, you up. Yeah, and this this guy, because the bubbles were falling. Okay, before I dive in into any of this, because I have a lot, uh, I have a lot of questions when I'm watching this movie. We're going to talk about positives. We'll talk about negatives. I want to give a shout out. And I don't know if you guys remember his name. But I think his name was Shin or Kai. The guy that was like with red hair with the bandana around. Yeah. Pushes it up. <laughs> Bro. Yes. Yo, he is honestly the fucking MVP. This man had the most growth out of all the fucking characters in the entire anime. Like, let's be real. Because he... Did not like Hibiki. He was always a team player. He hated the fact that Hibiki is not a team player. Then when Hibiki really needs him, he steps up to the mantle every yeah, single time. And when he knows that he cannot reach the same heights as Hibiki, what does he do? He doesn't have an ego. He says, okay, then I put my faith into you and I will do whatever you can to get be successful because it's all about team. This guy is the MVP, bro. And he deserved more screen time because I really thought he was going to be the asshole. Like he's going to be that egotistic yeah. guy like that they were kind of hinting on it but like his growth throughout i was like yo he's a really good guy him and the other guy too with the i think maybe his name is shin the one with the uh with the metal leg, mechanical leg. Mechanical leg. Yeah. yeah that ooh, that guy was about badass too yeah kai kai definitely was a, that uh, was his name kai one, yeah kai was definitely one of the uh those characters that you can't judge a book by its cover, or, or it, like just initially judge the character just for like a first interaction. Because I was like, I was on your end of fire. It's about like, it's like, oh man, this guy's gonna be a dick. So it's like, oh, he's gonna be constantly jealous. Yeah. So it's like, oh man, this guy's just like too that jealous. This is like, yeah, it definitely felt like that, right? Yeah. But uh, at the end of the day, like, no, this guy was a team player through and through, and he just wanted uh, the team and and for his friends to succeed and That's to it. win and and to actually win the day you can't win the day without people like that right he's and a, like this guy just, he was a leader yeah yeah you know what and, and like he like he he gave the air that uh like he wanted to be a leader but maybe he would but like you maybe he felt like he wasn't good enough to be that but like no he was good enough because of all the other things that he did to help the team right that's what made him a leader uh yeah that was that was really really cool i really liked his character arc See what about you? Yeah, I was pretty surprised with like, um, like I said already at the beginning, they sold him off as the jealous rival kind of thing. <laughs> like he just wanted the chicks or whatever. At the end, oh, he was your bro, and he did it quickly without all the bullshit. So that was very nice. I love that. Yeah. Oh. Uh... Like as 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 interesting as some, there were some other side characters as well. I can't, I can't actually find that one black guy. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, there was one. There was one. Like I don't remember his name. Shows you how interesting he was, right? But like there was a couple other characters. There was one kid, uh, Usagi. Uh, yeah, the one that looked like Naruto. Usagi. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's inspired by Naruto. He ran like yeah, Naruto yeah. too. Yeah, no, no, he even had like uh, yellow hair. Run. Yeah, right. it, was, it was. It was. And he was funny. arrogant like Naruto, uh, like the young yeah. Naruto as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There was. There was definitely like uh, interesting enough uh, supporting characters, but like, I never really necessarily uh, 
like felt like real deep connections with any one particular character, except for maybe like Uta. Uh, like what well, we're like. Uh, Uta. 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 Yeah, maybe, right? And maybe a little bit more in Kai, right? But mm. uh, uh, Hibiki, like, he was just the overpowered main, <laughs> main hero, really, right? I, and, um, I think he was the weakest, uh, yeah, weak, weakest the, character in the, in the entire story. Right? Like, they did give him a kind of, like, a little explanation of why, like, his hearing issues, right? And issues with his, his parentage. Right and whatnot, right? But like, it never really like counted to anything. Deep enough, like, yeah. To me, exactly. To me, exactly, to me, because exactly. at the end, everybody could hear her sing. It's not like yeah, it's mm. not it's not something that was just unique to him. Yeah, he could s- hear her very clearly, but everybody could hear her sing. That yeah. that sequence that I told you about, which in middle of the thing when they're all hanging off and they're, the red whirlpool is going off and Uta just jumps. And she does the thing and she turns around and says, Hibiki. And she screams his name and he does the same thing. And then the music kicks in. They both are on top of the pole. They look at each other. They smile and they just go. And his headphones come off. And that entire fucking sequence with Beautiful. the music is amazing. <laughs> I got goosebumps boy. every time I watched it. I've seen it four times. And <laughs> like It gives me goosebumps every time because they nailed it. Like That was like the money shot. Like Everything came together. You understand Uta, like what's happening with her. But you understand like how pure of heart she is because she still wants to succeed. They still gave her the win which was kind of crazy the fluidity of the movements were great the fucking attack on titan what was the uh, the the things called 3D movement? the 3d yeah, movement the motion, gear the, motion, yeah. the 3d movement gear that the other team was using that the way it was so <laughs> yeah, the different boots, the water the boots. boots yeah the water yeah the water boots. that in itself but like there was there was a lot there that i was like okay this is this is crazy but what did we learn about hibiki in that moment he likes her. Why does he want to save Uta? Because she's special to him. Which is a traditional yeah. main character thing, right? But like what it really did him injustice, bro, is his hair. I cannot get over his hair, guys. His hair is so goddamn annoying. Why? <laughs> Why? I, I, I just couldn't. I, I Every time I look, there's a picture in... um. Oh, my God. I will... Oh, yeah, my God. we're gonna yeah, insert it. I can, gonna... I can. No, I, I'll do it right now. I'll, I will show it to you guys the picture that I'm talking about, and that this picture, just it is like his hair. Like, why you guys, with all the animators, everything that you have, you could not give him a better, better hairstyle than this, bro. Like, come on, he looks like... so doofy. You know, it's in speaking of like looks, right? Wow. You guys probably noticed a couple of times where the animation style in 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 and of itself actually completely changed. Yeah. It was just still, it was just still images, right? But what did what did you thought when they actually and like they did it at specific like emotional beats moments, yeah. right? Uh, especially when uh, Uta first saved them, and then the, the another time they were like uh, sitting inside of a train or something like that, mm-hmm. but. Though these moments was like when it happened, I was like, I was like, oh, okay, like because it was so it was it was very different from from uh, the 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 style that they've been shooting that they they've actually been using, and then they just like insert this very very different art style in there. I was like, okay, it, and it did. I was it wasn't like bad. It's beautiful, right? It, it's, just, like, it did switch constantly, but like if you, when you guys watch the video back after this. You guys will see what I mean. But this is this, this right here. Look at his hair. This picture right here is just, it It, it shows. Check the Discord, guys. Check the Discord channel. You guys will see it, what I'm talking about. His, I hate his hair. I really hate his hair. Like, Oh, you don't like, like that thing on top of his head? Yes. <laughs> yes. The, a cowlick. Yeah, is, is it yeah, it's cowlick? a cowlick, yes. <laughs> and I'm just like, why? Like, I get a lot of anime uh, characters have these, like, weird strands of hair, fucking trunks, right? I like, I love Clannad. The mom and the dad, uh, the, the, sorry, the mom, the dad, and the daughter all have it. That's fine. It's done gracefully. Here, it just gives them such a dumb look. And then he has his sweatshirt. 
It's like, and it's like, it's so short. So I'm just like, I'm over, hey, 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 you gotta give, you gotta give props to the like the fan service, bro. Like swim free, like you know, whatever. like you gotta give fan service to like, hey, there's all types of people who watch anime, yo, guys and girls, bro. You gotta give them some fan service. No gotta... problem, no problem. But I'm just saying, yo, your clothing is style is, come on, bro, your clothing style. You gave him such nice <laughs> looking headphones. <laughs> Beast. But yeah, it, it doesn't fit the uh, stuff that we like. It does. It. It. it, it yeah. I don't think it suited his character. To me, it did not suit his. She talks to him about how he is a prince and everything, but I didn't feel it. But I will say though, the animation of when she pulls him out of the water and then his face is there, her face is there, and she goes to touch him, and then she, her finger kind of like I bubbles am, up. Was- yes. That animation, they used it twice at the very end, too, when she's dying and she's saying everything. Spoiler yes. alert. <laughs> FYI, we have spoilers in our videos. So now you know. <laughs> but like all that stuff when going on, beautiful. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Like, like you said, like even when she like she passes and like there, like that, that build up, right? Especially at the climax, right? And, and like that whole like another world. You know, with the with the bubble with her with her twin or, or sister or whatever. But and there like, were three. How whole, come I only saw two? There were <laughs> three sisters. She was the youngest. <laughs> right? It's like that, Did that, we actually that, know for sure it was just free? Like, probably the entire race is mermaids, right? Like for, for all yeah, we I know. don't know how many right? mermaids there were in the original like Little Mermaid story. Well no, I don't care about that. I'm just saying, like yeah. here in, in this movie, she mentions three. She's the youngest. The youngest one yeah, will find the right, prince. Yeah. So I was like, "Yo, let me see your sisters, bro. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, <laughs> like, just, why? Why can't it? Probably just bubbles anyway. You probably, we probably saw them. They were bubbles. Or, or they're all just twin. Like, or it's just triplets, right? And they're all yeah. like identical or something like that, right? But like, even to that whole build up, right? And then the climax, and then the conclusion, right? And as beautiful as it is, and I feel this movie." in and of itself was a demonstration of this, not only the, the abilities of this all-star cast of like uh, anime creators that we just mentioned at the beginning of this uh, review, but also just a straight up uh, like showcase of how anime could actually be. Rohan, I, like, a showcase of how anime can be in a particular moment. They didn't try to like expand the story. They didn't try to bring a lot of content. About- yeah, I'm just saying in general, like about- what I really appreciate is that you're it's just this moment. It felt very much like once upon a time in Hollywood. It's just about a few couple of days, and just that's it. Like that is the story. They're like no overarching plot and so forth, like I'm that. Not like entire like, series, like no, exactly. no, no, I'm not, I'm not, oh, no, no. I'm that's not talking about the sense of anime. Series, right? No, no, I'm just no, talking no, about no. like as a standalone uh, technical de- demonstration, yeah. Demonstration of an anime film. I think it's like, yeah, a, like a one off demonstration in this moment of like just how beautiful and amazing, like uh, it, it action or otherwise, anime could be. It's just mm. like, just like, an, okay, I'm not comparing it like in terms of like, a, let's say, uh, Akira. Right or anything no, no, like no, that. No, right? no, no, no. That's saying, like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, like, okay, for Akira was at that time, right? Like how, like, detailed and how, like, like specific, right, specific things that Akira does, right? In this movie, it does specific things in terms of the action, right? Especially yeah. like the park movement and stuff like that. Movement, yeah. Oh, I don't think. Oh man, it's gonna be a while to anime could like huh. could demonstrate something better than that. I think in terms of like action sequence, like you want like a really cool action sequence anime to watch yo like man yo demon slayer does amazing. though i think demon yeah, slayer does ahead, demon sorry. slayer is more on the fighting side mm. this one this anime was definitely like the best one that i saw in terms of movement sequence like, like yeah exactly. the fluidity in free run 100 yeah. percent. the parkour sequences like, were amazing i expected a lot since it was the same studio as attack on titan mm. and they exceeded my expectations yes yeah yes 100 yeah. 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 the sequence of them going inside the train once again that's that, that one sequence where they were just like oh. let's just put oh, poor yeah. budget into it 
a lot like, of things. A yeah, there's a little little things, but like it's just how it's done, man. It's just like, man, I don't think I've seen that. With that like, speed, that, you know, with that and speed, how close the camera follow them and the details in the background, everything changing exactly is like with it, the way um, the character goes up, down, left, yeah. right, whatever. Yeah. The camera just followed, the background followed. Perfect. Yeah. They nailed it. They definitely the, nailed the, it. What did you guys like, think of music? Really good. <laughs> At the very least, uh, the main... Or, I don't even say main theme. It was the... The leaf motif, I guess you could call it. Mm-hmm. Through that song. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, like, hit. Yeah. I, lo- I, lo- I-, I was really happy, actually. The melody, yeah. The, 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 yeah, the mel- because when they came up with the second trailer and it was a different song that they used, mm-hmm. right? I was like, wait, wait, is this going to be what it actually sounds like? But then the anime starts and it actually starts off with the original like song melody. I was like, okay, good, good. Because actually, I, was, I was in love. I was actually, in love. Actually, Rohan, I'm, I'm like second trailer at the very end when the song ends, the melody does kick in. But it depends on where you're watching it. Because if you watch it on YouTube, it's full. If you watch it on Netflix, it cuts off halfway. I know what I know oh. what you're talking about. Because like the, the song finishes and everything, after everything's done, it goes ha ha, and then go bubble, and then you see the tower falling down, the uh, the Tokyo Tower falling down. That entire portion, some t- uh, like when I was going back and watching the trailers, because the English versions got de- uh, released, because I haven't seen the English versions, I only saw the Japanese uh, ones. Even when we, I think when we did our reaction video, it's also Japanese, right? Yeah. What's so, it? I, I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's take a short break and we'll be right back. We gotta, hey, we gotta do no, some no, research no, purposes, you know? <laughs> you guys make sure you go check video. those. Uh... Like comment down below. Let us know yeah. if, it, if it was uh, you know in English dub or not. But who uh, was wrong and who was right? Who was what wrong? Is going on every- who know. was wrong? I say Japanese. Right? I say I say it was Japanese. Okay, I have the the video right here. So we're gonna try to check three, and Two, we one. are back. Mm, it's Japanese. No, I think it was English. Japanese, oh, okay. Japanese, okay. Japanese, English sub. Okay. All right. Theo is wrong. What? You are yeah, getting like, like as you usually <laughs> is from from this video switching to two with two view. Yeah. Uh, so music was good, animation we all agree was great. Um, characters we talked about a few. Did were there any other that that stood out? Uh, oh yeah, the, the, okay. The villains, well, the villains, right? With those guys with the with the water rocket boots and whatnot, right? I was hoping that they would just actually just be straight up villains like that, yeah. right? and it would have been like. Just because we're like, kind of throw away, yeah, right. But at the end, like they, like were they really villains, right? Especially no. when they let exactly they're just, right. They just <laughs> play cheap. That's it. Cheap shots. That's all they do. <laughs> right? Including kidnapping scientists. Yes. Exactly. Whatever they can do to get views. Because <laughs> let's be real, we are them. <laughs> so. Yeah, they, they put some like meme and like modern culture kind of, of stuff in course. there as well, right? I guess after these days, right? But exactly, right. <laughs> No, I um characters wise, I think they were I I love I really liked Uta's character. Mm. Right? She didn't do but, much, but I like the fact because I think it's it is an anime trope where you have this pure hearted person and t- time to time it is tends to be of a, a girl. Like what that remember that um uh, anime Theo with the little uh with the little cousin or niece? The guys in high school. Oh, um, what the? Yeah, the. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll insert it. Like, you, you know what? You know which one I'm talking yeah, about. That was from a fucking long time ago. Yeah, right? <laughs> but like I'm saying, like whenever I've seen things like that and so forth, like the 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 one the character that is that needs a little bit more, like the one of the main female characters would be the one that are like more innocent and so forth. Clanad, classic example, right? And then here. Yeah, she had oh, that. Oh, right. It's called a Ashi Terusa it, baby. That's it. Yeah. So here, it felt slightly different because she also had a lot of powers and they gave her a lot of wins. So when she's like, I'll crush him, I'll do this, I'll do that, like she actually had capabilities to follow it through. 
obviously it's a movie as well so they there's no like character growth in that sense but like she couldn't speak english and she learned english so i guess that would be uh character growth in that sense but i'm saying in terms of what she knew how she can go in terms of parkour in the original she actually learned japanese yeah (laughs) technically (laughs) they are in japan so yes yes so two languages (laughs) you learn how to communicate But yeah. uh, I, I liked Uta. I really, I really liked Uta's character. I don't think Hibiki deserved Uta. <laughs> but uh, I liked him. Yeah. It wasn't that I didn't like him. I, I liked the fact, like how, like he reminded me of Squall from Final Fantasy VIII. Didn't give a fine fuck about it. It was a long one. Yeah. Yes, yeah. like it reminded me of that. But then it yeah, just boy, long wolf, yeah. like a powerful wolf, yeah. long wolf. Yeah, I could yeah. finish the mission. Skull also had like short shirts with a belly button showing. There, here, here he is. You know, like no, he did not. I'm fucking with you. I'm, <laughs> I fuck, I'm sorry, I... Theo. <laughs> he, yo, shots. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> oh, I Theo just yeah, got it. Tigers, I have agreed. Yes. I think that I, I think Tyus actually did have like as. Similarly weird costume as uh, Hibiki. Listen, man, you want to flaunt your body? You're all about it? Go nuts. <laughs> like, like, I ain't just going to judge you. Give him a better character off, design. Theo wants to rip off his, uh, his, his sweater and just show off his body. Come on, Theo, let's see it. Let's see them pecs, Theo. And this is why we will never, ever get Patreon, because Rohan <laughs> is all about promoting some Theo nudity <laughs> in a bubble <laughs> video. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but, but yes the uh sorry to so go ahead run the, the, the closest in terms of the like, character growth as opposed to biki has was him opening up to uta right at the at the end right it cost him doing that right but like i suppose one like thing, that connection one thing right? i will it say because i know i'm talking a lot of shit about hibiki but one thing i really thought that was really sweet was like the necklace that seashell necklace that he gives uh uta so you can now you can yeah. always hear the waves and all that stuff like that. I really liked. I was like, okay, all yeah, right. That's him connecting. Yeah, yeah connecting. him making yeah. him finally having a connection with someone. Or at the yeah. end when he's like, oh, it's okay, and they're like, yo, did he actually compliment us? That made me actually audibly laugh because like, how much was an asshole were you? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I want to see that. It's <laughs> bubble the prequel. Learn how to have friends. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I would be an asshole as well if I was him and like. I was better than everyone else. Well, <laughs> at least in parkouring. Damn, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. He's oh, bouncing up bubbles. Yo. So the man, the man had some street cred. We got to give him that. He actually does have some street cred. He's bouncing up bubbles in direction he needs to go, talking about mermaids. And then after we're all making melodies, no one else can hear. I see why he is the way he is. All right. Fine, Theo. You you made your point well. We'll give we'll we'll say character growth. TBK had character growth. Yeah, he made friends. As, as, lim, as lim, yeah, he made friends. He learned how to say good job. Yes, <laughs> one girl. He made friends. That's it, man. That's why Uta is the greatest character, yeah. other than Tai. You know. But um, otherwise, what do you guys think of the story? This is this is something I wanted to really touch base on. They, they had like. Like you said, like we said, like it's very uh inspired, like or loosely inspired by the Little Mermaid. Hell, they even referenced the Little Mermaid in it's not not even a reference. They literally bust out a book yeah. <laughs> in the uh, Little Mermaid, right? And they actually talk about uh uh the prince that the Little Mermaid sees and everything like that. But with with the themes, with certain themes that I picked up on, mm-hmm. like uh, there's like. I, I, I got a sense of like the movie is trying to say some stuff about environmental issues. The fact that it's water, bubbles, water, right? And like uh, destruction of environments and, and whatnot. Uh, hell, Tokyo literally is flooded, right? And, you know, rising sea levels, right? And um, uh, what's, oh God, what's, a, uh, what's the thing called? Um, global warming? But anyways, <laughs> yeah, global, there you go, right? <laughs> global warming, good. That little thing, right? Yeah, global, like so. Maybe not exactly like specific things on that end, but definitely like some little points that they made, uh, some references to like, to like 
unfortunate unfortunate uh, stuff that uh, people do in terms of war and stuff like that. There was like this imagery of like people uh, fighting in a war, but like uh, there's yeah, no the war real... thing I thought was really stupid because like the guy is about to shoot some other guy and a bubble comes in and he's like, "What is this?" So I was like, "Why?" <laughs> it's just gonna go right through the bubble. He's just gonna be like... a wet bullet. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Theo. You've never seen like bubbles fall raining down. You'd be mm-hmm. like, "Shit." Is this anyway, but... <laughs> no, I I figured that they were trying to like ground, like show a few incidences where you can like you ground the person and say, yo, this feels real because war is occurring every fucking where. I get that. But I'm just saying that it went from a very colorful palette to a very dark, gloomy for like two, three seconds. And I yeah, was like, hey, this is I... this is the tonally shift was off. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't provide a real like cohesive tonally progressive story that was I think going I on. yeah I think that part could have easily been cut and then we would have still gotten our point yeah. but yeah. I, on, yeah, yes I do I do agree with you Rohan like in terms of like um the statements and like some of the some of the s- stuff that they were discussing like the themes in the in the movie itself it's it's funny you brought wa- you bring water because I was thinking about weathering with you and weathering with you also discussed <laughs> what it talked about like yeah the the environment and then you talk about your name your name also has hints of that so like a lot of big movies that are coming out even like well bell's slightly different because bell doesn't really talk about environment in that sense but they are like they do discuss like how things are changing and so forth right but anyways point is is that you know you think it might be a touchy subject for japan (laughs) <laughs> they tried, man. They they really tried. So, like, they have been talking about in from an anime since like Nosiska. Of course, which is the first exactly. time I'm picking it up. I think I think it's working. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually fucking working. Um, other there, sorry, go no. ahead. Go no, ahead. No, 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 no. You know, yeah, no. Other, Say your thing, man. Other than the themes of like uh, the environment. What other themes did you think that did you pick up on? Because I have I have a few things to say about the story, but I'm gonna yeah, get go, Theo's go opinion. Oh, Theo, you go first. What do you think yeah, about the Theo. story? Because we have we, we haven't touched base on you. So uh, I did like um, the way they like it's a different rendition of uh, the Little Mermaid. Yeah, and I really liked how they handled it. Like it's some um, like in the Disney's. Uh, version it was just all happy ending and whatever and the mermaid kind of feel like she did absolutely nothing she just kind of went um i like this guy so i'm gonna follow him around this one i really loved how um like that first parkour sequence with uh uta and hibiki mm-hmm. and she just you just see her jumping the bubbles you're like oh shit She's, she's doing all, something. She's as at least as good as him or better, and it was really cool seeing like what was originally uh like I don't even know how many years ago when Little Mermaid was made. Mm-hmm. It was originally portrayed as like a helpless character. Now, like she's carrying, she could carry the, she carry the team if she needed to. Mm-hmm. I I agree. I agree. I like that message. Like, yeah, there's no, she wasn't a damsel in distress. Actually, he became a damsel in distress. The man almost died twice, <laughs> three times if you really count it, and she saved his ass. Um, but I think the weakest point would be the story for me personally, yeah. Yeah. because okay, so we let's say let's say. Now, I could be completely wrong. And please comment down below. Let us know your interpretation. So these aliens that are mermaids descended upon the cities with bubbles and everything and so forth. Okay. And then they just upped and left. But there were still bubbles at the very end. What was the purpose? Like, I don't understand that. I was actually okay with that. Really? But then again, I'm really used to um, that... The way that guy writes stories, Gen Robucci. I but wanted I, one line. Something, something that can just be even if they were turned around, we don't know 
what is going on or what these bubbles are and blah 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 yes i know the scientist lady makoto she does say we're we're figuring we're trying to investigate the phenomena and blah 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 blah. we don't know what's going on i get that but i'm not saying it in that sense i'm saying it in a sense of turning around and making this phenomena that went from worldwide to just tokyo okay why just something give me something Nothing. It could be a line of dialogue, but nothing. And at the end, the bubble just disappeared. So what was the purpose behind it? And there's a lot of anime movies. Let's be real. Like one shot anime movies that do a lot of stuff that either the story feels like it's a little too much. A lot of stuff in there um, or the fact that a few things have been missed out. And it's it's a story that's being told just about this particular time. But I'll, give, think that's the case. But I'll give you an example of that, right? Like the girl who left through time. She got these powers. How she got these powers? There's a guy that, that has tribe travel machine. He says one line of dialogue at the very end and everything just kind of connects. You're like, you don't question it. It's stupid, whatever. It doesn't matter. He came back. Why? He wanted to see some art. The art that was destroyed in his lifetime. That's it. Doesn't have to be anything ma ma major or massive or he was the only uh, hope for mankind or anything like that. Here, it just felt like he becomes the prince. Why is he the prince? Nobody knows. Who cares? Doesn't matter. The, the mermaid's in love with him. Great. She saves his ass. She looks at uh, one of the, I guess, pop star models. And he she copies the likeness. And then they have fun for about, what, a couple of days? And then they die. Like, she dies. And then he's like, okay. <laughs> like, that's what it felt like reason that he was the prince was because uh he was the one that could hear the connection with her yes that could hear her like no not just um like he almost touched at that time at the uh, tokyo tower yeah before the crisis because he heard her that's what i'm saying yeah like, that, that that was it his hearing was the reason that the way he's a prince great yeah. now the bubble's gone bubble's gone he, he did something mm -hmm. the bubble's gone he saved her the bubble's gone what now? Like, I, I don't know. Like, there, there's there's a point in the story. Like, the story kind of felt a little incomplete. And it's not, it's not a, like, there's a lot of there that's really fucking good. But for me, the story felt a little incomplete. Otherwise, I loved it. What about you guys? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm definitely, it's a bit abrupt how certain uh, points or certain themes uh it just pretty much ends mm -hmm. like like they just just up in atoms after like she dies right and then like they, or i suppose like uh in a way like um like in she she saves hibiki right but only way to do that is for her to like give up her form or give her body and then mm. like she gets integrated back into the bubble uh universe that she's from and then off they go but uh there was uh gosh there was also a theme of like um uh oh god what was it called uh not rebirth but uh there was uh that that scientist lady uh what's it makoto was talking about how the universe uh how stars will explode and and things die and then they reconstitute to make more new like newer things and more things right and i think that there's uh, something in that uh 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 that telling that uh that telling of information that it, that uh the directors want you to actually take away right sit down and ponder away. on yeah ponder on right more so to like maybe find a more like uh, uh a better explanation of why these bubbles even came here in the first place right and then just up at atoms maybe it's just like a creation of something new maybe like them coming here right on earth and appearing on earth was just a, kind of like a reconstitution of the universe and like life just like creating new things and then them just leaving isn't just them leaving it's just maybe just going off to cre create something new maybe okay maybe i'm going too deep into it right and maybe i'm just something i'm actually just straight up missing right but i i thought about that right about how like and I actually do like that, right? That whole concept of the the star, our star will explode in a few billion years, right? The earth will be gone. But in that, 
the stuff that made up the stars, the stuff that made up the Earth, will reconstitute and make newer stars and other Earths and stuff like that, right? But how that specifically would connect to why these bubbles appear on Earth to then <laughs> have a, a little mermaid story born out of that, right? Is, uh, is, is there's this missing connective tissue with that, that maybe, like you said, Fai, is with like a, a line, a line from maybe uh, one of the sisters or something of, uh, what's it, Uta's sister would maybe help explain how or why they even wound up on Earth and maybe creating that tissue, that that connection that we're we're just simply missing that we're not actually seeing right now. But uh, so here's uh, a, here's the thing I would say here. Theo, give me sorry, I know you have you have something to say. Give me one second. Here's what I would say. I I, I hear you. I fully hear you. It's not explained anywhere in that because we're talking <laughs> about how the story is very self-contained in that moment. To then we're talking about like literally life outside and how universe and like the whole theory about like fucking quantum physics and everything afterwards, right? Like we're not talking about any of that. We're, all we're talking about at the end of the day is like, yeah, the story took place in this particular moment. Okay, so why the bubbles? Like you can't just wash it away to say, hey, the universe is ever expanding. Some shit's going to go down because, yes, the shit's going to go down anyways. What it felt like to me was basically turning around and saying, yo, there's a disease and there's a lockdown. Like it felt very much like a fucking pandemic. Like there's a disease that got unleashed into the world. Oh, okay. You got shut down in a lockdown. He be he, and then you're you're figuring out a way to live there's through it. Yeah, well, yeah there's like that's literally what it felt like to me. So if you're gonna introduce Mother Nature, like trying to turn around and like or the planets or the universe trying to figure out a way to like, I don't know, instill like halt. Like the ever expanding whatever is happening in the universe to just Earth, yo, why, <laughs> why us? Like, why yeah, these special, mermaids man. came? Or, don't no you way. know, humans are the center of the universe, bro. Our story is all about us, man. It, that, it, yeah, this is where life is. This is where everything happens, bro. Come on, power, man. That's yes. where like begin and ends. Don't and, you know animes by now? And he he became was chosen. Like, come on, guys. Like, there's like there's a, a lot exactly. of different a lot of different elements that they introduce but in terms of uh like connecting it properly and giving you a cohesive story like yeah, that seemed a bit uh um fragmented that's just what i felt because like to me i really felt that they're going to go down the route of instead of saying it's a disease right because like let's be real it's not a disease but it is bubbles so it's like it's it's an influence from the outside sure you want to pretty it up and talk about it yeah you're stuck in a bubble fucking simpsons did the exact same thing right so the simpsons movie epa what did they do they block them into the thing and homer and bart at the end of the day blew up the bu the bubble after they went to alaska and coming back if you haven't seen simpsons the movie come on guys so just go watch simpsons the movie but like that reference in itself too right same thing but it just i felt that it it a lot of different elements to were just not coming together like if it was just a mermaid in this particular zone like even if they didn't get rid of the bubble they kept the bubble the way it is and they said mm -hmm. uta came they had a little bit of a connection uta died whatever hibiki learned that he needs to open up and form different connections great it this is the world this is what happened now we're continuing on evangelion for example right this is the world or razaphon is another one half of the world in that bubble time stands still and well uh, like five ten years or whatever that kind of stuff i can completely buy but then the bubble left and i'm just like but there's the bubble eroded but the bubbles were still there so i'm like okay why they, they were i thought i thought all all the bubbles were gone like the the, the dome right and the that, dome was that, gone that but was... the bubbles were still there at the very end hmm. am i wrong i don't <laughs> think so <laughs> they... i'm not quite sure about that i, I, I thought what the, the impression i got was that once uh uta died and like and the bubble dome eroded or evaporated right and moved on also all the other bubbles around the world or well, like not just like on the world they already left, but like in that area, also evaporated as well, right? 
most of the bubbles were gone. No, yeah, bubbles were idea. falling yeah, down. Thought... Bubbles were falling down. Uh, no, unless they all was... of them were gone, though. Yeah, That's not it. all of them are gone because I'm looking at at the, at the thing right now. Like at the very end when he's running, and you she hears her voice again, and the bubbles are there. Like there's one bubble still there. And he's running through. I would show I would show the video, but I can't because it's a copyright strike right off the bat. Mm-hmm. But like I will show one thing. Like there's a clear bubble right here. Uta and thing. Mm. So that's that's the thing. Like they that part portion I was a little thrown off on. Theo, what about you? Oh, for me, I say you guys were looking at dirt way too much, mm-hmm. like trying to find meaning where there isn't, so that's why you're getting all confused. I just took it as it was just simple sheer co- coincidence. Oh, okay. I, like, I remember there was... Um, Shit just happens. An, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was another story that Gen Urobuchi wrote uh, called uh, Saya no Uta. Okay. Song of Saya, um, and in that one at the beginning, you think that it's like a horror story at the beginning, but then at the end, you realize that it's just uh, it's a love story. It did involve aliens, and the reason the aliens were there was just well, it was just probability. Oh, you said, yeah, they all probability. Both. Okay, it wasn't for any uh, like particular reason, it was just coincidence and probability meeting or whatever you're a prob- probability Oops. get out of here <laughs> a bigger probability <laughs> than you oh well. shots fired <laughs> go ahead did you hear this shots fired man <laughs> how could but, you um for me the problem that i had the story was that it felt rushed yeah like they they incorporated a lot of things a lot of characters and stuff too many to make a lot of them feel like they had a good reason to be on screen. Did Kai get our girl Makoto? No. No, No, right? She was still... No one really wound up together. Oh, man. And for me, the biggest offender of, like, characters that were there but didn't really get used was the villains. Yeah, like, the YouTubers. I, I didn't. I didn't really take them as villains. Like in the beginning, like when they came in and so forth, I was like, okay, like this is just a, another faction. Like that's what it felt like. Yeah, the Undertaker. Yeah, yeah. Undertaker. Yeah, yeah. And then they kidnapped the chick, and I was like, come <laughs> that on. escalated so fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's like, wait, you kidnapped the scientist, and now you're helping us. Like, yeah. No, like, I mean, like, it, like, what Spy says, it don't, it doesn't, they don't really seem like, yeah, they don't really seem like villains. Fragmented, right? man, fragmented. Like some of the stuff was like kind of disjointed and fragmented. But uh, what, what would you guys rank it out of ten? Like, how, like out of ten bubbles? <laughs> out of ten bubbles, how many <laughs> bubbles would you give it? Uh, I would give it a solid like. Seven point, mm, you can't seven say seven point five because that's just that not a half a bubble doesn't really care. Yeah, it has to, half a bubble. You, can make you know, half a solid eight. Bubble. I'll give it. A, I'll give it a solid eight bubbles. Eight bubbles. Those that's two. Those bubble. two. That's seven or eight. But like, I I liked it. I really do like it. So like, I'll give it an eight. I'll give you it eight bubbles. Give it an eight bubbles. What about you, Theo? How many bubbles? Mm, yeah, probably have the same egg for eight? just sheer enjoyment. Yeah, and how yeah. pretty it was. I completely agree. This but this movie is definitely eight bubbles. There's a there's a few issues. I don't think the the main character is that strong of a lead. Um story was A lot of a lot of quiet characters, I feel like even with their motivations or their trauma and so forth, I I feel like we need to spend time like if you if someone's like oh I am I'm a I'm a quiet reserved person because of this that happened to me in the trauma, and I barely know them I would be like why are you telling me this sir like <laughs> I just got on the subway to go to work like why do you have to tell me this, but like in general like joking aside like I don't think there was enough time spent to really understand his character the way they they wrote him and then obviously it's a, it's an anime movie so there's a little bit of this. Uh, like uh, illusion disbelief that you have to do when it comes down to it, right? So I totally get it. I just think they didn't do enough to sell that. That's all. And yeah, obviously stories uh, fragmented. But Uta and Kai, rock stars. Yeah, Kai, 
Kai, yeah, Kai, Kai's probably my favorite. When I come to think about it, and like, oh man, what was that? What, what was that other guy? The, the guy with the leg. Uh, Shin, Shin, I think. Shin, yeah, Shin, yeah, Shin, yeah. Shin, 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 ha cool. Shin, because he has yeah. one. <laughs> Right, and you get you get like little you get little snippets of his character when yeah. like uh, you saw a photo of him and like and his family from before, right? I was like, okay, they tell like they tell you little things very like very subtly. Yeah, like, well, one thing I was kind of amusing enough. about Shin was the entire time that I saw him running up the tower, I kept thinking to myself, how the hell did he even lose that leg? Mm. Something must have so happened, I- right? Yeah. Like, I mean, it doesn't seem no like it, you can get crushed. The leg can get crushed by a tower. So, like, the, a flying piece of debris just randomly cut his leg off. And how did he get saved? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. How how did he make it all the way to, like, that part of the tower, lose his leg, and survive? That's, that's why there needs to be a prequel movie. Instead of Bubble, they'll call it Bubba. And then, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go from there. But uh, one thing I will say, though, that I was got really excited when Theo was talking about Shin running and climbing up the building. Um, he limped when he was doing par- yeah. parkour. Like, down to that granular detail of animation, beautiful. Oh, yeah. He limped when he started running. Yeah, was, you yeah. you saw so like, a lot that, of details. In yeah. yeah. Even when the, like, once again, that segment that I come back to that I've seen four times, when the building's coming and crashing and they're doing the Naruto run, and then they, like, kind of slide off and the building crushes, I was like, oh, okay. Different different elements. But yes, eight bubbles. Any final thoughts, guys? Man, it's, it sucks that uh, I believe... Netflix shut down their anime, their anime studio, right? So I'm not quite sure if we're really gonna have actually something like this come out of Netflix ever again. That really? that that sucks. Is yeah. it because of the lost subscribers? Yeah, yeah, it had to do with that, right? And the, I suppose they have to try to stem the bleeding and stuff like that. But I mean, for what this is, right? I hope, I hope. Netflix is inspired by a lot of people watching this. So mm. go, guys, go out and uh, get a whole Netflix subscription so you can watch Bubble to let Netflix know that, hey, yeah, no, they, people people want to see these kind of animes, right? And I hope sort of this sort of like like a team, a collection of like animators and uh, anime creators get together again to do something like this. So uh, yeah, awesome. I hope the, um, I sincerely hope that this test uh, works out this test run for them but uh i'm not gonna go ahead and per- and say per- <laughs> go go get some net subscriptions and so forth no man they ain't promoting this video netflix that's true never mind call 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 me we'll Part talk eight. like, like if, if you talk to one of us and yes definitely we'll promote i'm just joking but go ahead Theo. they probably spent too much money getting the entire five star uh yeah, that's a bankrupt them. Uh-huh. <laughs> I rigged these guys. It was great. Well, thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. I know that we were really excited about the movie. I'm very glad that uh, the movie lived up to the expectations that we had, which was going to be, let's be real, it wasn't going to be a masterpiece 10 out of 10. Like, this is not going to happen. I was not uh, expecting still that. Netflix movie. <laughs> yeah, well, some of the Netflix movies are good, but I get, you, I get your point. Totally get your point. Um, I was hoping for an 8 or 9 and it, it landed in that realm so thank you so much for joining us thank you so much Ed, to any of you guys that have stuck around with the, for this long and actually watched through the entire for video me, I was happy enough that Ken Urobuchi wrote something different from his usual thing and it still flew mm. nice. I wasn't yeah when I saw like how the movie planned I was like oh so you can write other stuff too and be good at it I'm happy <laughs> well, Theo is very happy excited right now. <laughs> Theo is happy, so we will end on that note. So, to all of our audio listeners and to any of our viewers, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. With that said, send you guys nothing but well, good vibes from your friends at Fast Five. Sorry, we can't send you guys bubbles. <laughs>